So you've worked so hard on making that business plan, finding out who your target market is, researching that equipment and everything that you need to really be successful in your business. And now it's time to find a way to get your products in front of customers to find those people that are going to run and rush to grab whatever it is that you're selling. Now it's time to create a strategy with social media and your e-commerce website and really make sure that you are choosing the best platform and actions to really bring in more orders. Stay tuned. I'm Kelly Walters and this is the Boutique Series. You've worked so hard to build your business and create a plan, figure out who your target market is. So now it is time to figure out the strategy on how you're going to get your customers. So how are you going to get those orders? We're going to talk about social media and then we're going to also talk about websites or um, shared websites is what I'm going to call it. With social media, it's the, it's the new age marketing and it has been that way for quite some time. If you're not on board with Facebook, Instagram, and even TikTok, now's the time to get on board. This is how people are shopping and they are shopping from these platforms daily. So first, let's talk about Instagram. When it comes to Instagram, there are five different ways that you can really showcase who you are as a business, your products, and give them the ability to actually order. First is going to be posts, which is going to be your little snapshot of the products that you offer, who you are as a business. Normally this is more of a cohesive feed. You have spent a little bit more time working on those images, creating the flat lays, and really what people are going to see. If you were looking through a magazine, what image would you be putting in the magazine to represent your business? That's kind of the way to look at it when it comes to feed on Instagram. Now you can also have feed and post for Facebook. So those can work with each other as long as you know who your target audience is for both platforms. Now next, which is so important today, are something that's called stories. These are pictures or video. Um, they can have sound. It could just be a still image. And these all disappear within 24 hours. This is a great way to let people see inside your daily tasks, your business, what you do, who you are as a business owner. And the beauty of it is you will have those posts disappear within 24 hours, but you can always turn around and save them. Now to take a post and a story, they can be the same image, but remember those stories are going to be 15 seconds on what they see per post. So you want to have fun. You want to make an impact. And of course you really want it to represent your brand. Next, you are going to have reels or TikToks if you are on the TikTok platform. Reels are the newest way to increase views, to gain followers, and you can even have people shop from your reel. You don't have to be a real expert. Do not worry. There are so many um, social media strategists out there that help provide you with ideas for content and especially ways to make it easier if you don't like being in front of the camera. Now, this is one of the easiest ways to maybe only have a thousand followers and capture 8,000 views. Views can eventually turn into customers and those customers are going to turn into sales. Now, with the reels, they could be um, a, a snapshot of a whole bunch of different pictures put in one to make a video. You can show how you're packing an order, how you're creating an order, or just a quick behind the scene. Make sure you're utilizing these as they are really starting to be pushed on um, Instagram. So if you aren't utilizing it, you might be pushed down below. I know that's just how social works, but it is what it is. Next is going to be videos and you can actually post a video, a, a video, a video on both uh, Instagram and Facebook. 
where the difference is that is a video that's going to live there forever. So for Instagram, it would be IGTV, and for Facebook, it would just be posting a video like you would in your uh, standard post. Now, the biggest thing is going live. There is a difference on both Instagram and Facebook, but by going live, you are really capturing that audience to let them know that, hey, you know what, this is real time, this is who I am, this is what I'm doing. You can show some of your favorite products that you've created, any type of projects you're working on for customers, and of course, it's another way to let people see inside of your business and just really understand who you are as a brand. Now, with the lives on Instagram, those immediately disappear if you do not save and repost to IGTV. For Facebook, those lives stay right there and they post just like a video once you are complete. Now, why are we talking about social media? Well, it's a new way to gain, not new, it's been around for a bit, but it is a way to gain those customers that you may not have had originally by just standard organic traffic, maybe a search through Google, or if they were to have seen your website or got your website from you know, say a friend. Now, the reason why we're talking about social is because you can shop directly through social media platforms. So instead of just posting a picture to post a picture, people can actually go and shop from that picture and put that item in a cart and check out. There are uh, a couple of different ways right now. It will either, either lead you to or lead them to a website, which would be your website or ways to purchase, or they can purchase directly through that platform. Now, let's talk about websites because at the end of the day, social media is great, and most people want to have a website of their own. And you can either have an independent website or you can be on a website that is shared with other people. Now, if you are really looking at doing a shared space, which is just fine, that could be something like a platform like Etsy, where you are going direct to consumer, or it could be something like FAIR, F-A-I-R-E, which is a wholesale platform which allows you to sell your product to uh, vendors that are going to be purchasing and turn around and selling it at retail. So you would become a wholesale vendor. Now, either one of these platforms is great. You just need to figure out if one is going to make more sense for your business. With just about any type of platform, there are fees. And uh, same thing with social media. If you're selling on social media, there's going to be fees. Now, if you're looking at an independent website, why does it matter if it's independent over, say, something like Etsy? Well, if you're going to Etsy, then you can search for a specific item. Then hopefully that will direct your customer to go through you or hundreds of others. If it's an independent website, it's yours and it's 100% yours and people are coming to your website to shop with you or to learn about you. So if you're considering more of the independent route, Here's a couple of things to consider. There are, uh, say, two different options in that as well. An independent website where it's just one store, you turn around and offer your products just like somebody was coming and shopping directly from you. Now, if you're wanting to have a website where it's your product along with any of your customers' products that allows you to create multiple different stores, you need to look at a um, e-commerce platform that allows you to create multiple different shops for your customers. So let's break down the two. So let's talk about independent websites. It's so important to understand um, or to really write down as many questions, take notes, and really kind of navigate through what you need as a business owner to help you be the most successful and run your business the easiest. When it comes to looking at any type of e-commerce site um, or really selling your products in any, any manner, you need to ask, what are the fees? What are my costs? Because if you have not worked those costs into your prices, then you might actually be eating what you shouldn't be in the beginning. Now, when it comes to independent websites, 
there's also things that you need to consider like what apps can integrate in my website? How easy is it for me to go on and redesign or even upload product? If you're gonna be one where your product is consistently changing, maybe over seasons, maybe every single month, maybe every single week, how easy and quick is it to go in and upload those products, making it less time for you to have to worry about your website? So we're gonna talk about fees. You're gonna make that, you're gonna write that question down. What are my overall fees? How easy is it for me to upload and upload product and change the website or update it? And then you're gonna next ask, what apps can integrate? What do I mean by apps? I mean things like ShipStation or um, Pirate Ship. That way you can print your labels and ship your products effortlessly. Things like integration with Facebook and Instagram, that way your products automatically upload to that platform versus you having to do it twice on Facebook and on your website. You really want to look at the overall use and ease it is for your customer to navigate through your shop as well. And that comes to do with your layout or your overall website design. Shopify offers a bunch of templates. I'm not sure about Squarespace and WordPress. I know they offer templates, but I'm not sure how easy it is and um, in terms of uploading product, how, how easy that is as well. So you will have to do your own research on that and figure out which one you like. All three platforms, there are people out there that do web design specifically for those platforms. So if you're one where you want it 100% yours and created just for you, there are people out there that can help with website design. So fees, product integration, apps, and then of course design are so important when it comes to picking out your independent website platform. Next, we're gonna talk about the type of platforms that allow you to create multiple websites. There's several out there, but specifically we're gonna talk about a platform called Spirit Sale. This is a platform that allows you to not just have one website, but it allows you to create hundreds specific for your customers' needs. If you're wanting to do corporate stores, team stores, influencer stores, or even stores that change to different holidays, different awarenesses, all of that can be customized without having any type of additional fees. So that meets the fee question. There is um, some templates in there that you can utilize, but what's great about having the ability to have multiple different websites is that you can create something specific for your customer. Next, when it comes to looking at these websites, you should be considering fees as well, like I said, but you also need to look at how this type of platform is going to optimize um, how you run your business. To go from taking orders, capturing payment, then order fulfillment, decorating, and then of course shipping. You wanna make sure that any type of platform that allows you to uh, sell to customers or create customer stores is going to help you along in that process. That way you can stay nice and organized and fulfill those orders as easy as possible. If you need to do some type of integration with um, Facebook or Instagram and you don't have that ability, you do have the um, opportunity to go in and completely upload those products on their own and that would be allowing you to create your specific products, so uh, business to consumer, and then if you were going to your customers and creating their goods, then that would be business to business. So all of these options are great when it comes to social, when it comes to a shared website, independent websites, and then websites that allow you to create multiple different types of stores. You really need to just understand and uh, write down what is most important to you when it comes to capturing those sales. All of these ways you're going to grow. Social media is more of a marketing platform 
where your website is more of your house, your brick and mortar, your storefront. Those two can work cohesively together and really bring in more and more sales for you. If you're not quite sure what you wanna do with social media, that's okay. I am no social media expert here. I am no social media strategist and I did not go to school for social, social media. This is all just word of mouth on what I have had to use on both of those platforms and how we have grown. So if you are completely uncomfortable with social media, know there are people out there that um, are specifically in that industry to help businesses grow in the social platforms. They understand it and it's their job to help guide you and really create a plan to grow your following, which would turn into sales. I hope this helped uh, give you a little bit of um, guidance on what you really need to think about when it comes to choosing your platform and ways to grow and promote your products. Don't be afraid of something new. Go out, do research on it, and of course, if you don't have the time to do the research, hire somebody because if they're gonna be able to grow something for you and you can focus your time and energy on something that you feel confident about, it's gonna be a win-win in your business. All right, guys, stay tuned. We're gonna keep adding to this series, but hopefully this provided a little bit of insight. Make sure you drop some comments below with any questions. And as always, make sure you're following our Stalls channel. We're always here to help you out. Stay tuned with more education. See you soon.